let's start our practice. So first of all, let me show you my screen. And here we will continue exercise session two, data and function approximation. So what was the last example with you? Students, what was the last one? Three or two? Splines, uh, did we consider splines or not? Do you remember? We didn't. We did it, yes, number three. Okay, good. If we did it, let's continue with number four. So we didn't, I said. Ah, we didn't. we didn't. Ah, okay, sorry. I heard we did it. Okay, let's begin with number three. So let's quickly do this number three. Here you can see uh, we need to graphically represent this Runge function uh, with cubic spline interpolating. Not a uh, not cubic spline interpolating over here six, not 16, six, 10, and 40. So equally spaced nodes in the interval minus five and five. So we did uh, same example in first exercise, same exa in the first one. Here we just do this Runge function and polynomial interpolation with equally spaced nodes. Here we will do it with cubic splines, okay? So, and then compare these two results. Let's begin. So let's begin it. And now uh, we need to first of all uh, enter our interval. So A is minus five, B is five. And then enter the function, define the function F is, we define with at, a, at X. So at X and it's Ruge function one over one plus X square, one plus X square. Okay, now uh, what should we do here? So we will enter now our argument x plot, x plot, and it's equals to lean space, space of line or vectors. And here we can see in interval a, b, yes, of course. So now just 100 values it takes. So then we'll continue and write, evaluate the function f, f x plot. So just evaluate the function, corresponding function. So f, and denote it like this, fx plot as previous examples, and it will be evaluation fx plot. Okay, now open the loop for, now n is six and 10 and 40. So step is four till 40. And now, So is it visible, my screen? Comment yes. window? Okay, uh, so then x, uh, now let's consider equally spaced nodes, lean space, x lean space, and again, a, b, and the number of equally spaced nodes, it is n. So here, now again, evaluate the function with respect to this x now, f of x. Then using common spline, find uh, this not and not spline, S equals to spline. Now, arguments of our spline, X, Y, and X plot. So, and now we need to draw the graph plot. So uh, we will do the same with the first exercise. Here, the argument for spline, it is X plot and S and color was blue. When polynomial interpolation, we consider it for equal space of nodes here. For equal space of nodes, we will consider spline, not a node spline. What was spline? Spline, this is the piecewise function which, cover, uh, which covers our function, exact function. So now, um, approximation of our function is uh, here it 
the exact function now x plot and f x plot yes so it is in it was in red exact function so then notice x y and it was k o black circles yes so and you can give to the black circles line widths and it's two for example okay now we need to find error also here you can see uh, find error here so how to find error using norm uniform norm in this case infinity norm norm s minus just f x plot you can see we need to subtract the value of spline from the uh, from the value of spline uh, value corresponding value of function and here we have infinity norm you can write second norm or first norm also and close the loop and okay now here you can see the graph of this spline in red this is exact function runge function these black circles are uh, equal to spaced notice and you can see in blue this is spline they are very close here we have more a great approximation than previous exercise then equals just equals space nodes and polynomial interpolation let me one more time show you what was the uh, the graph here you can see this is from the first exercise here we have different graph so here you can see in blue this is polynomial interpolating for equal space notice here we have more errors they are not same yes but in our case, in this case, when we use splines, they are almost same, you can see from this graph also. Is it clear? So this is good way to approximate uh, our function using these splines. Okay, now here we can see also errors when it is n is increasing so n is in 6 10 and 40 you can see the corresponding errors and it will be less so when x when n is bigger uh, error will be smaller is it clear any questions here students Sure. Uh -huh. Everything that is without arrows, it is the condition of four, yes? This one, four? Which yes, one you because mean? After, four, after four, you don't have arrows in the left side, you see? It's because uh, of condition of four. Sem semicolon, you mean? No, no. I mean, the most left side, there was errors, like, no, uh, arrows. Th this one, this one's. Yes, 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 yes. And then after four, yeah, the yeah, yeah, yeah. If if you write four, it will be without this one. Yes, correct. Because it's under the condition of four. Yes, this is condition of four. This is loop just. So inside okay. of loop, if you if you end, you have this uh, these symbols. Eric, other questions? So inside of our loop, we will do operations because they are. Depends on n, all of them. This error also. Okay, uh, can you continue? I think yes. Okay, now next exercise, exercise number four, use the MATLAB function spline to construct cubic splines. So here you can see again, not a not condition, S3x cubic spline, not a not condition, and S3 bar fulfilling this first derivative constraints, you can see, with first derivative. And interpolating this function, we have now given function again, uh, another function now, and we have notice xi, and i change from one from zero to n 
and n it is two to the power of k. K here is two, three, four, and five. So we will do loop now with respect to this K. Is it clear? Because here K will change. So, and now you can see if two to the power of five, it will be 32. And the 32 here, if you put from zero till 32, we can get. And then graphical represent interpolation errors. Link at this not and not condition and the first derivative um, constraint spline constraints plan and for equally 100 equal spaced points in the interpolation interval minus one and one. Find which of two gives more accurate result and print maximum absolute error for each value of K. Okay, so we need to do this uh, now in our MATLAB window. So here, let's again, First of all, let's define a function f of x. So f is now with at x, yes, at x. So here we can see one minus x squared, five over two power. So one minus x squared and the power of five over two. So this is function, function definition. And now we will define a derivative of this function. Let denote by df, derivative of f. And it will be now, let compute this df. So when we compute it, it will be five over two. Yes. Five over two. It is coefficient now will be times uh, this one, one minus x squared. And uh, now, point square. Now it will be five over two minus one. Five over two minus one, yes, minus one power. And multiply by the coefficient. So coefficient will be now minus two x, minus two x. This is new function, df. Now we need to find the corresponding values zero and n, x n and x zero. So it will be now, let denote by f zero, it is equals to df minus one. You can compute it. And fn, it's a point n, it's equals to df one. df one, when we put to the derivative of this function one, we get this value, corresponding values. So now let's continue and put uh, this, write that this argument, x plot. x plot equals to again, lean space. Now we need to do it where, where we need to do it minus one, one, and how many points? 100 points, yes? So lean space, now minus one and one just, and automatically it takes 100. If you, if we, need to find 1000, we need to write here 1000. But here, uh, from condition of our example, here just 100. So without here number of vectors. And then evaluate the function f x plot again, yes. f x plot, so uh, f x plot, this is evaluation of function. And now again, consider the loop for k equals two from two to five. And now let's work with this loop. So here n is two to the power of k. Then x now it is x it is uh, minus one plus two i over n. So minus one plus two times i. Instead of i, we can write here from zero till n. Yes, because n depends on k. Like this. So zero till n, this is i. And for each i, it will compute uh, on x. And then evaluate the function y equals to f of x. Then spline, let's enter spline. S equals to spline. And then here we have x, y, 
and the x plot arguments of spline. Then this is not a not spline. And now we have the second spline also with first derivative here. So we will do for two kinds of spline, not a not spline and uh, this one, the first derivative constraint spline. So it will denote by any S1, for example, and S1 now equals to spline. So we'll use this common spline, yes? So arguments are X and now we have here matrix F0 values here. You can see here F0, this one. And uh, then next argument will be Y and then Fn. So we have these three, um, how to say, uh, three components, F0, Y and Fn. And then X plot, next argument. So instead of Y, we have three components now here. This is first derivative uh, constraint spline. And then we need to draw two, two graphs. So in the first graph, we will draw uh, the graphs of splines. And the second one, graphs of errors. So let's do it. So that's why here we will open just first figure, figure one. And uh, let draw the first graph. So here we have uh, x plot, x plot and s first spline. This is yes, just not a not spline and any color blue, for example. And the same one with s one next spline plus derivative constraint spline. S one and any color. or just green, for example. And function. Any color red, for example. So then what we have again, we have, for example, this data, yes? So data X, Y, and K, O, and line widths for these circles. Okay, so now, now we can give names of these uh, lines, these graphs using legend, yes? We know about it. So, and what was the first one? This is just not a not spline, not a not spline, not a not spline. Next one, it is the graph of uh, first derivative constraint spline. First, der, let, let's just write like this, first derivative. Okay, now next one, it is the uh, function f of x, f of x, and next one, it is data, yes? Okay, and now we will do the second graph. So figure, figure two, open the new window. And here we need to draw the graph of this polynomial interpolation so errors, interpolating errors linked to S3 and S3 bar. You can see here, yes, graph could represent interpolating errors. Okay, now how to draw it? So you can see here we have n is here bigger number. So it's useful here to use what, uh, not just a normal common plot, but use, for example, logarithmic scale here, especially logarithmic scale for only y axis, because x axis will be just, uh, in, in normal scale, but y-axis it's useful to use here logarithmic scale. And what was the uh, comment for uh, logarithmic scale for y-axis? Who can answer? Logarithmic scale only for y-axis. What was the comment to plot the graph? 
Do you remember? EXP. Hmm? EXP. No, no, no. Uh, the comment was semi log y. Yeah. It was just half logarithmic scale. So if you use, for example, semi log x, it will be logarithmic scale for only x axis. If you use a, a semi log y, it is logarithmic scale only for y axis. Okay, now semi log y. And here we have first variable x plot. And then, and then we need to find error here. Error with respect to not a not spline. So inside of this semi log y, we all, we can also do this operation. How? It will be a b c just absolute value of let let look here s minus f x plot. What does it mean? It means this is error. Yes, absolute error here from spline. We will subtract the value of function, corresponding value of function, and we get error here. And here color B and blue. So then next one, the same work with S1 spline. X plot and a absolute value of, so now S1 minus Fx plot. Fx plot, okay? So, and now, it, it was green, yes, from previous one. Okay, now let's continue and we can write again the name of these lines. And here we have name, it is, so not, again, not, and let me write the ready one. Here, without data now, without f of x, derivative, error and not and not error it means respectfully so okay okay now find this errors also error equals to norm f minus uh, f fx plot minus s using uniform norm fx plot minus s and infinity norm we have here uh, so and the next one, it is error one, S one here, and it will be error one, for example. And what should we do? Close our loop and so it takes time. Okay, so here we can see now two graphs. The again, this first uh, derivative constraint sp uh, spline gives more accurate accuracy approximation, uh, accurate approximation than not a not spline. We can see here from this graph also, but they are very close to each other. We can see from this graph also. Is it clear? Why it is more uh, accurate? Because of uh, more accurate because of here you can see it is it has two conditions. More conditions we have here. That's why uh, it is more accurate approximation. Is it clear? And here we can see this um, errors for each and. Any questions here? No questions? Okay, if no questions, we'll continue and move to the next exercise. So here, exercise number five, according to the air quality database of region Piemonte on November, 
The control unit placed near Lingoro detected the following nitrous oxidase concentration in the air micrograms over cubic meters at hourly intervals starting from 30 0 and until 8 a.m. of next day. Find an approximation of nitrous oxidase concentration level at 40.30 and 7.30 by means of liner spline. We will use your liner spline. So here you can see we have our hourly, hourly intervals from 1 p.m. till 8 a.m. of the next day. How many uh, hours we have here between them? 20, yes? And here you can see data. So for these 20 hours, we have corresponding values of nitrous oxidase. So we need to enter this data firstly and work with data and find what will be the uh, approximation of nitrous oxidus constraints levels at 40 and 7 30. We don't have here uh, half hour uh, intervals. Here we have just hourly intervals. Is it clear what should we do here? So let's begin. So now, uh, first of all, let's enter X. X now 20 hours from one till 20. It is X vector. Now, Y node. Y node here you can see uh, data, yes? This nitrous oxidase value. So we need to type this data. So let me open from the another device. So, okay, so I have here for three. Just copy. One hundred eighty-seven. Just copy these twenty values. Is it twenty values here? Did you count it? Yes. So now let's continue and uh, enter new function, Z function, which is works with uh, here with equally spaced notice in this case to interpolate our uh, function with liner speed, liner spline. So Z now it is lin space, lin space, sorry. Without brackets, of course. So lean space now from one twenty, and uh, here how many uh, vectors? Let's let's choose one thousand vectors here. And now, and now spline s s equals to to write here liner spline. We need to find liner spline, yes? We will do here such kind of comment in terp one, in terp, in terp, in terp one. What does it mean in terp one? So I will show you what does it mean this in terp one by this uh, help menu, from this help menu. Z here variables interp one it is x y z this is interpolation of uh, liner uh, function to the liner functions so you, how can we check it help and this comment in terp one so now you can see definition of this interp one. So this is one dimensional interpolation. So interpolate it with liner functions here. Okay, so now you just find this interpolation and now plot the graph. 
plot. So here variables are S, Z, S, and you can give color here. And we have data X, Y, 20 data, yes, K, O. Okay, now, now we need to find this, um, this values also, interpolation values. So it will be now, new this uh, interpolation, S1 equals to, now interp1, and here x y so we need to find uh, at the 40 30 and 7 30 so x y and what will be 40 30 here it is 2.5 is it clear so in this table 2.5 space and 90.5 it is 7 30 so 2.5 and 90.5. We need to find in these two uh, approximated values in these two intervals. So now plot if it is just one hour, one hour, so 20 sorry, for example, we'll write without this square bracket. However, we have here two uh, variables 40 sorry and 7 sorry. That's why here we will write just with. Uh, or oh, square brackets, we need to uh, so we need to close these brackets. Sorry. And now uh, here we will draw the graph plot. Here we can see the values. Corresponding values in 2.5 and 90.5. It's equals to, if you multiply by 100, nine, uh, it will be just 90.5 and, I mean, 195 and 166 here. So plot, we will draw the plot now. Plot this 2.5 and 90.5. So then new, this interpolation S1 and uh, let's do it in, in another color. For example, um, how, for example, um, red, just not circles, let's do pluses, red plus or, or asterisk you can do. Okay, just asterisk we will do and uh, line widths. Okay, now we can see here new graph of this function. So we can see here these two points. They are asterisk, but how have we give here line widths? So it will be more bold. It looks like a point, yes? Non empty point. This is previous graph. So you can see here just two points from this polynomial interpolation. Is it clear? This is the values of uh, 2.5 and 90.5 at this period. Is it clear? We can find this data also. If you don't have this data, but we can find using this polynomial interpolation with liner splines. Any questions here?
can you please come back to the beginning of the code? I mean, when x is equal to one, that would up to 20. Just a second. Uh huh. Thank you. That's all. Okay. So let's continue. So it was the last example on this exercise session. Exercise session two. Now we will continue and move to the um, next one. Move to the next exercise session, exercise session 2B. So here we have uh, multiple choice questions uh, in your exam. Also, will be such kind of questions, and you need to work in MATLAB and find correct answer. We will do now sample. Okay. So here you can see in first one, is it visible, students? So given the two functions. F1, F1 and F2. This is, if we open e to power of x with Taylor expansion, we get the approximation form to this one, F2, yeah? They are close functions, equivalent function, we can say in, in infinity. So now we need to work with this function. Compute two with MATLAB in x 10 to power of minus 12 and if we consider F2 as exact value, which is relative error, we commit if we substitute F2 with F1. We need to find just relative error with respect to F2 of X. Okay, so let's begin. So we need to just type this function again. So, um, How to work? Just give first of all x. x it is ten to the power of uh, minus twelve. Yes. Or without uh, dot also we can write here minus twelve. It's just value of x ten to the power of minus twelve. It is, and then now. Uh, right, f1 x, f1 it is e to the power of 3 x minus 1 over x. So it will be now exp x x minus 1 over um, x 3 x here, of course. x 3 x uh, minus 1 over x. Okay, now f2. F2, it will be three plus. Uh, so here we can see nine X because of it is three X uh, square over X here we have. Why they are almost same, is it clear? If you open this Taylor expansion here, it will be, look here, this E to power of, um, so first of all, it will be one plus then here instead of e to power, just let me write the uh, last form. So here we have three X over one factorial plus three X square over two factorial and etc. Three x cube over three factorial, etc. So when we subtract this minus one, they are canceled. You can see, yes, here this one is this one in the red. It is this one now, and when we put here, one and one are canceled, and you can see we need to divide by x also, and x and x also cancel, and we have this form. Is it clear, students? Is it clear? Akbar, Jahangir, Artyom. You mean the second equation is the... Uh, uh, Taylor expansion of this one. Of the first one, yes. Okay. Yeah, of the first one. Taylor expansion of the first one, just. If you open with Taylor expansion, yeah, it's here just finite uh, uh, expansion. It's not inf infinite expansion. This is finite expansion till uh, fifth power here, just. 
Okay, so now we need to consider error between them. They are almost same functions. And now we need to consider uh, error between them. Okay, so three plus, let's just quickly type this function, nine X, but factorial, factorial two, two factorial plus 27 times X uh, square over factorial three. So, and now next one will be four here. And here it is cube. And here it is 81. 81. And here it is uh, five. And here it is 243. Okay, uh, so this is Taylor expansion F2. And now find the relative error. Error equals to absolute value of just subtract and divide by F2 with respect to F2 because of. So F1 minus F2, F1 minus F2 over F2. Did you this mistake? In power of x in the last um, ah, equation. Sorry. Yes. sorry, sorry. F4 here, of course. And error. So, but we have same errors. Okay, so uh, you can see error between them. It, it's equals to one point. 4886 10 to the power of minus 5. So, do we have this number? Yes, this is A. So, the correct answer is A here. Is it clear how to work in your final exam, for example? Yes, teacher, but which row here plays x is equal to 10 in power minus 12? I didn't understand. Here, just right. put x instead of x, it, 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 it will calculate. This X. Oh, I got it. I got it. Thank yeah. you. Evaluate in this uh, value, with this value. Okay, so now let's continue. And the second question. So it's given a function, again, this big function, and defined on the interval minus one and one. In how many testing points on the interval, the function equals 40. Is it clear? So we need to draw, draw the graph of this function and find the, how many uh, this thing, different points on the interval, the function equals 40. Just evaluate this graph, uh, just uh, draw the graph here. Okay, so here, um, new function f, it is equals to this at x, you define it, and it is 3x e to the power of 4x square cosine. Okay, so 3x and uh, exp 4x square 4x square why we put here dot because of now here we have vectors and dot cosine cosine 2 over 3 times pi times x and plus 51 plus sine 7x plus 50 times uh, 1 plus sine 7x. I think now it's correct. Okay, so now just enter now um, x variable, it is lean space. And what was the uh, interval minus one and one, minus one and one here. Just takes 100 values here. And evaluate the function now. Oh, sorry, I need to put semicolon. Okay, y is f of x. Y is f of x. So 
So just a second. So at, it was at X, yes. Let me write one more time. At X, so uh, here multiplication, sorry. Here multiplication we have. And uh, 3X exp multiplication and now it's correct and then we need to write this x lin space then evaluate the function okay now plot plot x y just plot x y we have x variable which takes 100 values a vector and the f function define function and y variable which evaluate this function okay now plot the graph and you can see here so you can see here uh, how many points intersection points with 40 one two and three three distinct points on this interval yes is it clear So we yes, can uh, we can uh, do these grids also. Grid on, and now it will be with this grid. It's more visible now. So in forty, you can see here we have, and here and here three distinct points. So the answer. Answer is C, three distinct points. Okay. Now, next one, it's given the same function f of x defined on the interval. The interpolating polynomials on seven equidistant points in the minus one in one intervals has with respect to f of x. So we need to find here now seven um, points, equidistant points. So let's do it now. Um, so we have the same function. We have to this x in space, we have y. And now we need to find the polynomial interpolating here, interpolating polynomial on seven equidistant points. So the, how can we get this polynomial interpolating? So we just enter now new uh, variables. So x i, it's just seven vectors it will choose here, equidistant lean space, lean space minus one, one, and seven. Then yi, this now evaluate the function with respect to xi. And here we have this common, if you remember, polyfit to interpolate polynomial and polywall to evaluate this polynomial. So let's uh, denote any c, for example, this uh, polyfit, polyfit, polyfit of x i, y i, and how many? Seven numbers. So then seven values, and then polyfit, uh, polywall now. Polywall evaluate this polynomial. Polywall c and x. Okay, and now plot the graph. Plot this graph. So here now x, y, given function, yes, in blue, for example, and the polynomial interpolating x and p in red, for example. You can give line widths, okay, without this one, just too quickly. 
and grid on, for example. So here we can see now these two graphs. The red one, it is polynomial interpolation. Blue one is what kind of function here? This is given function, yes? Graph of given function. Okay, uh, so how many now relative minimums we have here written? One less relative minimum, one more relative minimum, the same number of relative minima with respect to f of x. Two less relative minima, two more relative minima. Which one is correct? So one more time, red, it is polynomial interpolating. Blue, it is given function. You can see here how many relative minima in blue? One, two, three. In red, we have only two minima. Yes, relative minima, two. So which one is correct answer? First one, A1, one less relative minima. Is it clear? Yeah, yes, it's clear. One less relative minima. Okay, now, and let's continue. So, but, but we have time now, yes? It's time now. Uh, so we have two ex more examples, uh, two and five, uh, so four and five. So uh, here it's given this function f of x and let the seconds approximating polynomials for f of x on the minus two and five interval, but we define it interpolating f of x such seconds and we need to find correct answer here. So here without MATLAB we can do it uh, using this lecture notes. So you can see this is uh, function, this function f of x and uh, So we, we have here Chebyshev notice to interpolating uh, on this interval. And then we can deduce that this function is uniformly converged to f of x. The correct answer will be here, uniformly converges to f of x. This sequence, this Chebyshev node sequence. But here, in number five, we will do it in MATLAB. So it's given the function f of x and let p6 be interpolated in polynomial associated to seven championship notice on the minus two and a five interval. The interpolation error in uniform norm is about, so we need to find this interpolating interpolation error in uniform norm. So let's quickly do it. So here we have a, it is minus interval minus two and B is five. And then F function, it is at X. So sine X plus exponent X uh, two dot division uh, one plus X square one plus x square, and then find this notice, lean space, lean space, uh, and it is minus two and five. Here evaluate the function. And then here you can see n is six, six degree, p6 polynomial. P6 interpolating polynomial is shaded to seven Chebyshev notice. So, you know, Chebyshev notice. So here we have N is six. And then let consider the loop, uh, just I here from zero till N. From zero till N, 
so and what will be what was the Chebyshev notice? So Chebyshev notice is you remember x i it's equals to let me recall one more time a minus b over two times cosine and inside of this cosine uh, so here two do you remember two two uh, i plus one two i plus one times pi times pi and over uh, two n plus one it was two n plus one two n plus one so and plus a plus b over two it was a minus b x i a minus b over two x i and a plus b over two and instead of x i we have uh, this kind of Chebyshev function here and a plus b over two. And now let's again evaluate the function f x i. So, and now this polyfit, polyfit x i, y i, and the six uh polynomial uh, degree six here so then polywall polywall and it was a and x so not a c of course c and x then error so it is norm you need to find this error norm so our y minus p using infinity norm so this is answer now we get here our answer so here you can see 1.87 and 80. so do we have this number is about this number d1 is it clear how to work with uh, multiple choice questions this is correct answer any questions No questions? If no questions, we'll finish today's lesson, today's practice, and we'll continue next time. Thank you for attention. Thank you.